Hey friends, welcome back to A's Learning Journey. Today, we're going to learn about the ocean. The ocean is like a big pool around the earth. It is the home to many amazing and wonderful creatures. It is also a tremendous means of transport. Fun fact, the ocean is a great place to get wet with fun activities like kayaking, boating, water polo, swimming, and water skiing. Come on, let's dig into this topic. The, the ocean covers 97% of our Earth's water. The ocean has different zones. Come, let's take a quick look. Sunlight zone or the euphotic zone till 200 meters. Twilight zone till 1000 meters. Midnight zone till 4000 meters. The abyss till 6000 meters. The hadal zone till 11000 meters. Come, let's explore each zone. That will be the first zone. It is the upper 200 meters of the ocean called the sunlight zone. It gets the most amount of light from the sun. That's why it's the warmest. Lots of plants grow there because they can get as much light as they can from the sun. The sunlight zone is a home to many creatures we may know. All of them are colorful. Examples, stingrays, sea turtles, dolphins, shark, fish, and many more. Here is the second zone called the twilight zone. It is just below the sunlight zone. It is from 200 meters to 1000 meters. It still gets a little sunlight, but it is much colder. So, plants do not grow there. The animals there have big eyes to help them see better in the dark. Examples, the moral eel, the blobfish, the anglefish, and the many more. Let's move on to the midnight zone. It's from 1,000 meters to 4,000 meters. It's called a midnight zone because there's no light over there at all. It's like night to the human eyes. The temperature down there is very low. It's from 39 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The creatures down there have very small eyes or no eyes at all. They have transparent skin or see-through skin. The examples, jellyfish, the vampire squid, some shieldfish, a big squid, and many more. If a sea creature moves to a zone they're not supposed to be in, they'll drown. Let's move on to the abyss zone. It's from 4,000 meters to 6,000 meters. It's completely dark down there, so the, most of the creatures are blind. It's all muddy dirt down there because of the dead animals and their parts. Most of the marine creatures down there eat the dead animals and their parts. Also, they have built-in fish lures and lights to attract mate, lure away predators, or to lure in prey. Examples, the Dumbo octopus, the tripod fish, and some kind of shrimp. Let's move on to the last zone, the Hadal zone. It is the deepest part of the ocean. It's from 6,000 meters to 11,000 meters. Scientists are still learning about the animals down there because it's so hard to explore. Most of the creatures tend to eat marine snow. But some of them also tend to eat bacteria. Currently, they've discovered few animals. Examples, the isopod and the snailfish. This ends all the five zones. Hope you like this video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please.